hello, my friends. Fancy seeing you here. I'm Ali Melendez, and this is Bet Online All Access. Well, friends, what can I say? I mean, there is a ton of great action on the Hoops calendar as we head into the final weekend of the college basketball regular season. While over in the NBA, the Celtics continue their dominance, treating the rest of the association like the Globetrotters treated the Washington Generals. Remember that? All right, well, I don't, because full transparency here, my friends, I gotta admit, the Globetrotters' heyday might have been a little before my time, though I did see them as a freshman in high school, so I feel like that's gotta count for something, right? Anyway, all great stuff happening on the hardwood this weekend, so let's get right to it, and nobody better to break it all down for us than our guys. Here they are now, Drew Butler and Nick Ba. Welcome, fellas. Thanks so much, Ali. Drew Butler here, joined alongside my man, Nick Bach, to take a look at the action on the hard court this weekend. And Nick, it is the final weekend of the regular season in college basketball. So let's start there. And we'll start in the best conference in college basketball. We've been saying it all season long. It's the Big 12. Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern time, number 14, Kansas heads to the top seed, number one ranked Houston Cougars right now. Houston's an eight and a half point favorite. This totals 138 and a half points. I think when a lot of people looked at this game, they thought it would be for the Big 12 regular season yeah. crown. Certainly Houston has held up their end of the bargain, but Kansas has it. Kansas has struggled a little bit lately, and Houston is playing fantastic. But you look at the first matchup between the Cougars and the Jayhawks in Allen Fieldhouse, it was domination from KU. They won that game by 13 points. They were able to hang in there on the glass with KJ Adams and Hunter Dickinson. And Dewan Harris was able to handle some of the pressure from Houston's backcourt. I, I look at the way that game played out and then I just say this simple fact. If you give me Bill Self and eight and a half points, yeah, I will ride with that against just about anyone anywhere. I think Houston is the better team. I think Houston wins the game, Drew, but I'll take KU plus eight and a half on the road to cover that number. Yeah, this line jumped out to me as well, Nick. And these are two teams certainly headed in different directions. Houston ranked number one for the second straight week. And get this, KU out of the top 10 of the rankings for the first time in 55 weeks. KU has lost seven conference games for the first time in 21 years under Bill Self. Nick, you and I say it each and every week in March, and it is March now, the things that matter most are great defense and elite guard play. Houston has that led by Jamal Shedd and LJ Cryer at the guard positions. But can KU find something to end the regular season, find something to at least keep it close? This is a lot of points here. Houston has been playing close games as of late. Yeah, they've won a bunch of those. But I'm going to take the points here. Give me eight and a half with the Jayhawks. I think they could upset Houston and end their regular season on a high note. Speaking of teams that need to end the regular season on a high note, let's head to the SEC. A great matchup here. 15th ranked Kentucky Wildcats heading to Knoxville to take on the 4th ranked Tennessee Volunteers. 4 p.m. Eastern time tip off. Tennessee, a huge 10 point favorite here. This total, 165 points. Pretty eye-opening, that, that 10 point line. And I think it's a little bit warranted when you think about how Tennessee has played. They just had a great road win yeah. on the road at Alabama. And Drew, there's a world, depending on what happens here, where Tennessee could end up on the one line with how they finish out the regular season in the yep. SEC tournament. If you've not paid attention to this Tennessee team, they're good enough to go all the way to the Final Four and win the whole thing. But Kentucky, if there's one thing they can do, Drew, they could score. No they doubt. can really score. They have scored over 100 points three times in the past month. You don't get that a lot in college basketball, especially in conference play, when everybody knows all your pet plays and your tendencies and your personnel. But what Kentucky has is they got pros. They got guys that can go get their own shot. I think Tennessee wins this game, but 10 points for a team that can score like Kentucky, I think Kentucky can cover that 10 on the road. Yeah, I think you and I are on the same line of thinking here. And you mentioned that Tennessee is on fire right now. They are jockeying for a potential one seed in the NCAA tournament. And I said it last week, I'll say it again. Dalton Connect is a bucket. Could this be the year that Rick Barnes takes Tennessee to the Final Four? It's never happened before. If Dalton Connect is lighting it up in the game, yeah, there's no doubt that is a possibility. Tennessee scored 103 points in a win at Kentucky earlier this season. 
but how can Kentucky disrupt Dalton Connect? A little bit slower of a game against Alabama for Tennessee and Dalton Connect just last Saturday. However, Tennessee did break away and win. Kentucky will want to run at a fast pace. There's no doubt about it, Nick. The Wildcats have averaged over 106 points per game in their last three wins. Simply put, a lot of points here. I think Tennessee wins. Kentucky keeps it close. Give me Kentucky plus 10. All right, let's finish things up in college basketball in the ACC. It's the best rivalry in all of college basketball. The seventh-ranked North Carolina Tar Heels are heading to Durham to take on the ninth-ranked Duke Blue Devils, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time tip. Duke, a a two-and-a-half-point home favorite. This total, 156 points. So in the first matchup, Drew, North Carolina was able to win that game by 10. It was a little bit close late, but North Carolina was pretty much in control for the full 40 minutes uh, in the first matchup between these two. And I think one of the things that stood out to me in that game was North Carolina was able to get out and transition a lot. They were able to find four on threes, two on ones, and they were able to find easy shots. I don't think Duke's going to allow North Carolina to do that. And the main reason why is that they're going to be able to run better offense at home, which helps your transition defense. I look at Duke right now. Both teams are playing good. I really like how Duke's playing. Jeremy Roach, senior day against North Carolina, the, the rival I think Duke plays well. I think they're able to cover the two and a half and win this game. I'll take the Blue Devils. All right. Could we go three for three in college basketball this week? Interesting situation here with this game. If UNC wins, they win the ACC regular season title. And if Duke wins outright, they at least win a share of that ACC regular season title. Duke has to find a way to limit Armando Baycott. He went off. In that first outing when the Tar Heels won by 10, he had 25 points and 10 rebounds. Can Kyle Filipowski have a big one? Can Jeremy Roach have a big one on senior day? It's a short number here. I think John Shire and the Blue Devils get it done. So, Nick, I agree with you. Duke evens the season series. They win. I will lay the two and a half points with the Blue Devils. What a lineup for college basketball this weekend. Going to be an awesome finale to the regular season. All right, let's head to the NBA It's a team that we keep talking about, and how could you not? The Boston Celtics are heading out west to take on the Phoenix Suns. This is your 8.30 p.m. Eastern game on Saturday night. The Celtics are five-point road favorites here, Nick. The total is 229.5 points. Oh, yeah, and a reminder, the Celtics beat the Warriors by 52 points last weekend. (laughs) Yeah, 52 points. It was just a demolition from the jump, and we've talked about it. This Boston team isn't just the best team in the league right now. They're they're on a historic pace yeah. for what they're doing analytically and, and numbers-wise with this season. This team is fantastic. And I look at Phoenix, they're 16th in the NBA in scoring defense. I just don't think they have the defensive pedigree to slow down Boston. And then when you think about how Boston's built, they have a lot of those wing defenders to throw at Durant, to throw at Booker, to try to slow those guys yeah. down. I just look at Boston. They are rolling right now. I am going to take the Celtics on the road to cover the five against Phoenix. Yeah, they're a wagon 10-0 in their last 10 games. The Suns struggling to find some rhythm coming out of the All-Star break. And I just don't know how you make the case for any team to be able to slow down the amount of weapons that Boston has. There is no need to fade the Celtics at this time. I think you just keep taking the Celtics, lay those points. I don't care how far west they go. I don't care what kind of matchups. You can try to sell me on five points. Are you kidding me? In Phoenix, I will lay five points with the Celtics. And if they don't cover, I'll gladly say, whoops, I'm sorry, Nick. We agree there. All right, could we go five for five for the first time maybe ever on Bet Online All Access? Let's wrap things up with some action on Sunday afternoon in the association. The Milwaukee Bucks are also heading out west to take on the Los Angeles Clippers. 3 p.m. Eastern time tip. Again, Sunday afternoon, the Clippers Two-point favorites at home. This total, 221 points. So these two teams just played each other just, yeah. a, just a few days ago, and it was in Milwaukee, and the Bucks won that game. And Milwaukee's starting to slowly but surely get it rolling. They're yep. in that two spot in the East right now. They traded for Damian Lillard. They obviously got a new coach in Doc Rivers. All those things are taking a little bit of time. But I like how the Clippers are built, especially at home. I love the offensive arsenal of weapons that – the Clippers have. Norman Powell, even off the bench, is able to give them some scoring punch. But you know about the stars. Harden, Kawhi, Paul George, 
a lot of those guys can really go get their own basket. It's not a very big number. The Clippers at home, I think their offensive firepower is going to be too much for Milwaukee, who hasn't been great on the road this year, just 16 and 14 on the road. I'll take the Clippers to cover the two at home. Yeah, Clippers short home favorite, just a two-point spread. They did just lose to the Bucs, 113 to 106 last week, like you just mentioned. The Bucs are in top form, 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. Seems like Doc Rivers is really getting his message across to this team, and Giannis is a beast, averaging over 30 points per game. I don't know, Nick. I, I think I have to do it. I'm going to go against you. Give me Milwaukee. I'll take the two points. I don't think the Clippers will be able to have an answer for Giannis. I know that's a lot of travel. We are not five for five this week on Bet Online All Access. I'm going to go against you here. I'll take the Bucks plus the two points to finish out our NBA games coming up for this weekend. No better place to be than Bet Online for all your latest lines, news, and odds. Head on over there to finish up the college basketball regular season on a high note. We'll be back next week to preview a lot of the conference tournament play and, of course, some more NBA action. For Nick Baugh, I'm Drew Butler. Allie, we'll throw it back to you. Ah, Drew Butler, Nick Ba, thanks so much, guys. Amazing stuff. And you certainly picked some great games there for us, but do not forget now, friends, there is plenty, plenty, plenty more at Bet Online. As always, you can find the full slate of college and NBA basketball at Bet Online every game, every day. Get it first, get it fast and get it while it's hot at Bet Online. Oh, and that's right, I'm talking literally about everything, not just basketball, hockey, baseball, golf, UFC, I mean, you got it. We truly have it all for you. Anyway, sadly, time's up for this girl for this week, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're watching on our YouTube channel, and drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoy the sports weekend, everyone, and get all of your action at Bet 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 Online. The game starts here.